Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to record your PC games for free using a software called OBS or other known as Open Broadcaster Software. You're going to want to come to obsproject.com, there will be a link in the description and click Windows 7 slash 8 or maybe slash 10 as you're watching this in the future because Windows 10 is nearly out. Ooh, the excitement. <laughs> anyway, click that, do the install for it and then open it up and you should have this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is select a scene, add a scene and name it what you want and then add your source. So this could be a window capture, a monitor capture like I'm doing now to record this video. Could be an image, uh, could be some text or could be a game capture like Minecraft or something or Battlefield 4 or whatever game you're playing. So select that and that should then be set up ready to record. Now what you're going to want to do is come to your settings and this is the most important part. First up you're going to want to go to encoding and this is where you're going to have to kind of copy my settings what I've got and hopefully these will give you the best quality I uh, hope and yeah so basically you're going to be wanting to use CBR enable CBR padding and use custom buffer size I have mine at 8000 and 10000 because it seems to be decent enough quality so make sure you have that. For the audio encoding, I'm actually going to just put it as 160 because 160 is decent enough. Um, yeah, just make sure you have this AAC 48 kilohertz stereo and 160 and make sure you apply. Come down to broadcast settings. Make sure you're on file output only because you don't want to be live streaming unless you want to be recording it to your hard drive or local disk or whatever. Select the file path. I've got mine on a sec on a separate hard drive because it's got faster write speed so it's able to record smoother I guess that's the word I'm looking for yeah uh, leave the replay buffer size the same and the yeah and that one as well because I'm not too sure what that is I've, I've just left it and everything seems to be fine so we'll move on to video this is where you're going to want to choose your video adapter mine's a GTX 750 Ti uh, your monitor size I'd leave it as 1920 by 1080 uh, or whatever monitor size you have and then this is where you're going to want to choose if you want to put it as 720 or 1080 if you have an i5 or i7 and a really good like computer then I would leave it at 1080 keep it native and 30 FPS or 60 FPS but if you don't have an i5 or i7 if you have like an i3 I would go down to 720 and either go linear or the bicubic sharper because that'll give you some good detail or you could try the uh, lan lancusus I don't even know what these words are but yeah you can try them out uh, they should give you decent enough quality but I'm gonna keep mine at 1080 because that's the resolution I'm recording this video at so you can actually so yeah you'll buy this video but you have to see what the quality is like and what you can expect and then yeah I'm keeping it at 30 FPS because my computer is not that good so make sure you uh, apply and then move on to audio Make sure you choose what uh, desktop audio devices you have and your microphone and you can choose whether, uh, I know you can't choose whether it's push to talk here, I don't think. No, it's not. But I'll just leave everything the same. You might have to boost your microphone or your de desktop boost depending on your sound card and audio levels. Just have to play around with them. But I found that mine's 200, 1, 3 and 0 because I don't need no mic offset. And then we can go down to the hotkeys. This is where you can choose whether, uh, if you've got a key to push to talk, I don't know when you'll use that when you're recording. I'm I'm not too sure, but it's there if you want it. And then I have a start stream and a stop stream, which is my plus key, and a zero for start recording and stop recording. Uh, then we can go down to advance. This is where uh, you can have different options and it will affect uh, your recording or streaming quite a lot. But what I found the best thing is to have it above normal. Uh, which other ones do you check? Don't change if you've got a what? If you've got a i7 or i5, I'd move it down to faster, like what I've got it on now. But if you've only got an i3 or lower, I'd keep it on very fast, what it's already on, or maybe lower. But if you've got a beastly i5, you could go down to fast or medium. Don't go any lower because they don't really do anything. Encoding profile, leave it on high. Um, make sure you use CFR. 
And that is basically everything you need to know. You can have it. Here we go. You can adjust your microphone noise gate to make sure that when it's silent, it's below the closed threshold, and then when you're speaking, it's above the open threshold. So then you get a nice audio balance, and you don't have any background noise, and it's all nice and clear on the on the uh, people watching. I think. Yeah, that do. So anyway, guys. To stream, well, to record, just press start recording, stop recording, and then check where you put your file path and your video. Video should appear there. You can also preview it whilst you're doing it. And you can add images, add text, play around with it all, and hopefully everything goes well. So I've been Mr. Penguin Games HD, and I hope you now know how to record your PC games for free using OBS. If it helped, leave a like leave a like on the video and I have other videos telling you how to live stream and to set up a follower alert and a donation alert for Twitch using OBS. So yeah, check them out and I'll see you in the next video.